What is up guys, Joe Snow right here, welcome to iDevice Central channel. Today I have for you some news about the Tango jailbreak for 32-bit devices and also I have a new version of FC365 Farmer Manager X. At first I'm going to quickly talk about the jailbreak and X32-bit devices on Twitter, this PP Assistant Twitter page, which we cannot tell if it's fake or not, posted this thing. Well, it is a... Um, a retweet from this account, also Chinese, and says that this is the big reason why Pangu team didn't mention releasing for 32-bit reported by Feng GB community. And as you can see, it was kind of a pool and um, most of the people are with ARM64, which means that 32-bit devices are no longer an uh, important factor on the uh, jailbreak scene and a lot of people are using 64-bit devices like iPhone 5s, 6, 6s, 6s Plus and so on, making the 32-bit device devices obsolete. Well, I don't think this is main reason why Pangu did not release a 32-bit device uh, jailbreak just yet, but this might be one of the reasons. And from what I've heard, there are some rumors saying that the PP official website, which is this one you can check out if you know Chinese, wrote an article about Pango rushing to, to fix some untethered issues and also to release X32-bit jailbreak. We don't know what's the true, probably is in between, but I'm going to keep you updated when the 32-bit device version will come or if there are any news. Subscribe to this channel and stay updated. Now let's talk a little bit about the firmware manager that you can download from the iPhone wiki from this page right here. I'm going to upload the 16.0 version and you can download it from here. Now you probably know in, in the past when you needed the firmware key you needed to go here to the iPhone wiki, select for example iPhone 5.2 and select the build number and search for the root key to decrypt the DMG file. Now you no longer need to do that. Besides the bug fixes and some improvements, the new firmware manager 16 version, part of firmware manager X variants, now includes an experimental system to grab the keys automatically from the iPhone wiki. You need to go to root FS and for example you need the IS decryption keys for iPhone 5 iOS 9.2.1 because iOS 9.2.1 is the, the only one that is recent and has keys published. Well, you click retrieve keys. This will bring you to the iPhone wiki because this feature is in beta, is experimental. If people like this new variant, I'm going to create a new version and all the key page buttons from here and from here will become automated. And if you click here, retrieve keys, you will get this keychain module. You select a device, I'm going to select for example iPhone 4S, select iOS version, you are only given the versions for which there are keys. Just not to get you confusing, if you don't see a version right here, it means that there are no keys for that specific version. Okay, so I'm going to select iOS 9.3.1, which is kind of recent, and I'm going to click export keys. It will bring me the key automatically right here. You can also copy it and paste it here now, without even going to the iPhone wiki. Now if you click right here, I'm going to select iPhone 3.2, uh, 9.2.1, it will bring you a, an error because iPhone 4 does not support iOS 9.x. But if I select 7.1.2, it will give me the key. This is one of the major features. I'm going to refresh a little bit the application. And I updated the engines, the video engine, the application ID remained the same as the previous one because it's kind of the same module, the same kernel in the background, but with some slight modifications. And the turbo engine for those who can run turbo mode on their computer was updated. Normal mode means that you're in normal mode and average users only need the normal mode. I really hope this helps. I really hope this is a great feature. Tell me in the comment section down below if I should create a new version containing all these buttons to the automated version. Okay, so this is basically what is new in this variant. Here you can check my social media links, follow me on Twitter, Facebook page, website and YouTube channel. I wrote verified between the brackets because people need to know who is the official FC365 um, channel. 
Okay, here we go. Let's wait for it to... Okay, so as you can see, it's verified. You cannot make any confusions. <laughs> if you see another website or another uh, channel pretending to be FC 365 TV iDevice Central and it's not verified, it means it's not us. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to download this version from the description. The legal agreement was change it a little bit and I suggest you to read it and to get uh, to get to know what was changed. Thanks for watching, do not forget to suggest new features and improvements in the comment section down below and vote in this poll right here in the cards if I should implement that automated key fetching system for all modules. Thanks for watching guys.